Hello everyone, I have a uh, another wonderful patient from Minnesota. She comes uh, to me. You are how old? Uh, 32. 32. And you uh, were... Uh, 11 years ago, you had silicone implants when you were 20. And according to the guidelines by the FDA, anyone below 21 cannot get silicone implants. So your plastic surgeon actually got approval, i.e., uh, the, before the surgery because of your age, your 20 year age to get silicone implants. You can get saline implants 18 and older, but silicone 21 and under, no, not allowed uh, per FDA guidelines. Uh, and there are certainly exceptions to the rule. Now you had what was three days ago, a surgery that was very involved, very intense, very delicate and very, very precise where you had a ruptured implant removed from your right side that you and I did not know going into the surgery you were ruptured on the right. Yeah. And so you had complete removal of the implant plus the capsule. None of this is spilled into the chest, very delicately done. And that day I actually had two. And this is where I say to you, to the rest of the plastic surgeons, to the rest of the world, Implants are not safe. A young mom with uh, kids in the middle of her life and her young life basically having to deal with what is a rupture. Everything was contained. I could not have done the surgery any better. You have no drains. Look at the position of your nipple. You did not need a lift. Look where how things are. What do you have to tell the rest of the world in regards to how you're feeling right now with someone who was told that the implants are safe? And what else did your plastic surgeon tell you if you can show and share with the rest of the world? Um, a part of me has felt like really just upset and angry that I was essentially lied to when I was so young. Um, I went in and I had some fears because the implants were recently put back on the market and cleared. And um, he told me that he had to share that it is possible for implants to rupture, but like with anything, everything has side effects. They have to inform um, people, but that he had seen videos of cars running over these implants, that they were virtually um, indestructible, that he had no actual concerns that anything would rupture um, and that I should be good for, you know, 10 to 15 years at least. So it's been hard to realize that I made a very unsafe decision um, when I was 20 and now, you know, I feel a lot better and I know that I'm like on a road to health, but I do have like limitations. So I can't pick up my little kids. I can't do all the things that I want to do for them. It's summer. I can't take them to the pool, you know, for a while and I'll be able to, and I'm grateful for that. But, um, you know, they shouldn't have had to put up with those limitations with me and I shouldn't have, you know, been told that this was something that was going to be very safe um, when it wasn't. Right. And, you know, again, you hear some plastic surgeons or oh, breast implant illness afflicts a small minority, like 2%, absolutely 100% wrong, inaccurate, false information. It can hurt anyone and everyone and eventually 100% of the patients will succumb to breast implant illness. Look, you had a silent rupture and you were hurting. And it, uh, remember, they're not meant to be in the body forever. And just the fact that they basically can rupture any time. And per the manufacturer, manufacturer from the mentor uh, implant company itself, they tell you get an MRI at year three and then every two years they're onwards. So it is wrong for someone to say breast implant illness afflicts only a few. Because remember, even if you have intact implants, the many patients with the saline implants that are intact, they continue to hurt. They have the suicidal ideations, the depression, the brain fog, fatigue, the migraines, the neck and back pain, all those, those are intact implants. So you get breast implant illness, you got lymphoma associated with the textured implants, and you also have what is a silent rupture. And once it ruptures, the silicon can migrate to the lymph nodes and then to the spleen, to the leg, to the nerves, to the, all the tissues as you have seen in the many patients that have had their biopsies done, which show that basically the, 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 the silicon does migrate via the bloodstream to the rest of the body. And the point here is implants are not safe. They afflict 100% of the patients. Uh, you can imagine the free-floating silicone that will eventually rupture. We know from the many studies, the longer they stay in the body, especially after the 10-year mark, their rate of rupture goes up significantly. Your implant on the right was not 
like mildly ruptured it was completely disintegrated like literally exploded that's and it had been there for some time god knows how long and this is only goes to show you that the implants are not safe devices they should be taken off the market there needs to be a very serious or uh, you know analysis feedback um, looking into uh, and uh, and basically preventing the badness that's what the goal is do no harm and uh, you know that's the message that the FDA needs to listen to the plastic surgeons the rheumatologist allergy immunologist all of the primary care doctors everyone in medicine and even not in medicine so that you know your body in itself you may be going to the world's best institution and hear the message that you got, they're safe, and this is the wrong message, unfortunately. And time will prove, hopefully soon, that once they're banned, that was the right place for that. Uh, you know, that the implants need to be banned permanently. There is no such thing as safe, cohesive silicone. All of the implants are bad. Uh, so this is basically all of the implants are bad. There's no such thing as safe uh, implants. Do you have any other, uh, how was your anesthesia experience? Um, it was actually great. I was really nervous, um, but I was out like a light, woke up, didn't have any pain. Um, I just remember getting back to the hotel and yeah, it was a better experience than my other surgery that I had. Um, and I really have been surprised with the limited amount of pain that I've had at all. Sure, and I want you to know, thank you very much for being compliant, listening to my instructions. You have a wonderful family. Your husband, uh, you know, will take care of you. When the time is right, very soon you'll be working out and back in the gym and going and spending life with your family, enjoying life, and without having to worry about a potential problem, rupture, and silicon toxicity amongst the many other problems. Uh, so yes. just tell yourself this is the investment you did, and you will have a wonderful fall. Let's look at it like yes. that. Okay. Yes. Thank All you. right. And then the the latter part of the summer. All right. Take care. Thank you. Welcome.